previous notice, so I will be chairing tonight's meeting, so be kind. <laughs> um, Carolyn Dribblick is unable for medical reasons to attend tonight's meeting in person, so according to the bylaw, she may attend by phone, which she is on the phone currently. So I want to call the regular meeting of the Niles Main District Library Board of Trustees to order. It is 7 p.m. on Wednesday, April 18, 2018. Diane, please take the roll. Okay, Karen gave previous notice. Carolyn Derblick is here by phone. Dennis is running late. I not heard anything. Uh, Diane Olson? Here. Patty? Here. Linda? Here. Ted? Here. What do you okay, please stand questions? for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For all. Okay, well, welcome everyone. Good evening. Um, our first item on our agenda is the approval of minutes. So do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of the regular board meeting of March 14th, 2018? I motion. Tim and Diane. Are there any changes? I have one. It's, uh, it's my turn to speak. Yes, go ahead, Carolyn. It is on page... Um, page... Page six, under the new business, this is where we discuss the statute. It's on the first line. And um, you go towards the end of the line where it starts with the current procedure. What I actually said was the current personnel approval procedure by library director, director Susan Lemke. Okay, so you just want to um, input personnel, personnel approval. approval procedure, so personnel approval? Procedure, right. It's four okay. words instead of the two. I got you. Is that everything? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll, I will make um, To the original minutes. Is, uh, do I have to ask if my, or my um, Tim and Diane? If it's okay to make those two Perfectly uh, two perfect. words change. Yes. Okay. Uh, yay, right, thank you. Yay and yay. Welcome, Dennis. Okay. Um, yes, Diane, please take the roll. Uh, Carolyn? Oh, yes. We're just approving the minutes of the March 14th. We're approving okay. the meeting. Yes. Oh, I'm just letting Dennis know. Hi, Dennis. We're just approving them March 14th. Did you yeah. have anything that you needed to change no. on it? Okay, thank you. Go ahead, sorry. So, um, Dennis? Yes. You approve it? Okay. Uh, Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Chen? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Um, has anyone registered for public comment? And we can get the list. Thank you so much, Mr. McCullough. Um, just, just a reminder, there's a limit of five minutes per individual, so um, please maintain a professional stature as you always do. Thank you very much. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is uh, when the library puts out uh, public notices for contracts, they've been using the Niles Spectator, uh, what do you call Herald Spectator. The circulation on that, I believe, is less than 500 pieces. Now, is there any reason why you can't use something like the journal that has like 4,000 circulation in Niles, where more people would read it? When you have contractors, there's 50 newspapers in Cook County, neighborhood newspapers that are qualified to be in this category. The contractors aren't going to look through 50 newspapers to, to look for a job. You know what I mean? So, I would say it's better to use a newspaper like the journal here, or maybe the, uh, the Herald or something, but uh, where a lot of people look at it, you're liable to get a lot more bids. And sometimes people, that the more people you come get in here, sometimes they'll give you better ideas on what what's, could be done instead of, you know, what you're doing. Sometimes 
a contractor will come in and, and give you a, a, a better idea of what to do. So that I think should be changed. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about, I went through the uh, through the list of programs, and there's 167 that are basically programs and not meetings. 29 of them have less than 10 people attending. Okay, that's their actual total was 139 people for these uh, 29 programs. That averages 4.793 persons per program. Um, I, th I think maybe it might be a good idea to eliminate these that don't have 10 people participating. We have 58,000 people in this district, and if we don't get 10 people, it might be a good idea to, you know, cut back on those or consolidate them with something else. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. McClure. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the Treasury report. Uh, okay, March is our ninth month of our fiscal year, so our, we are 75% of the way through, three quarters. Um, and as we get, uh, as we start talking about our budget, uh, we do need to maybe focus on our income and our, our expenditures so that we have a realist, uh, realistic uh, comparison between what we've actually done to what we're trying to do uh, in, the, in the next year. Uh, in that regard for on page nine, uh, revenues, I want to point out that our property taxes, uh, for the most part, we have received all of our property taxes. Uh, we might get a, a small amount, but uh, pretty much we've gotten everything we're going to get, and we're at 98%. Um, uh, we do get dinged somewhat for the TIF districts in that the county uh, will take money from our taxes to um, uh, deal with those TIF districts. If anybody needs a refresher uh, discussion on the TIF, uh, we can do that maybe later. Maybe Greg can uh, um, go through those again. But the TIF, every time we create, uh, the village creates a new TIF district, it does negatively impact our income, and we have really no control over that. Our per capita grant, we still have not received it. So we again, we have no control over that. Uh, book sale is running a little bit under what we had hoped for, and I did suggest to Susan that we um, highlight it a bit in our Chapter 1 newsletter. Um, there's uh, it's real possible that many patrons don't even know that we have a book sale and or don't know those quality books that are for sale at a very reasonable price. Uh, passports, uh, our, our, our monthly income is better than what we had anticipated. Yearly is lower, but that's due to it starting later than we had thought. So uh, overall, on a monthly basis, we're doing very, very well. Actually, Tim, if I may uh, interject, sure. uh, we're over uh, 500 uh, at this particular point. Great. So, um, you know, we have seen some surges sure. and uh, right up before, uh, uh, before the price increase on April 1st. Ah. And now we've seen, you know, the activity back off a little bit. Sure. You know, so, um, but it's still strong. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. Um, you know, later on there was a comment in our uh, and the, uh, director's report, somebody was um, really grateful for being able to sit down and have the kids read. Mm -hmm. It was great. I think it's great. Uh, in the miscellaneous category, uh, we do have two significant receipts. The first was uh, 9700 and some change from a class action lawsuit which was filed not by us, uh, having to do with overcharges related to LCD screens. Uh, our list of our uh, qualifying LCD uh, purchases. Carolyn, are you still here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, every once in a while, you, you come out with a... Or, or else yeah. there's something coming across from someplace yeah. else. Yeah. It's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. Oh, is there a noise? Yeah, yeah. that's fine, though. I just wanted to make sure you were still on. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just making writing notes. Okay, sorry. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, anyway, we, uh, uh, Rich, uh, uh, forwarded. That sounds like feedback. Yeah, it sounds yeah, like feedback. That's what it sounds talking. like, it's feedback. Turn us on over. Nobody yeah. hear about me. No, I think we a trucker going by in his radio. Oh, maybe. Oh, you know what? I do hear 
have you on speaker because it's easier to hear you unless that's the issue. That's okay. We can yeah, do we're fine with it. It's, it's not, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we got uh, $9,700 back from a, a class action lawsuit, which is great. And uh, we did get $1,000 from the sale of an Epson large format printer uh, that the board did um, authorize the sale of that. So that's good. Uh, expenditures on page 9 still, uh, uh, salaries uh, are under budget, 72% uh, as opposed to our budget at 75, so we're looking good on that regard. Thank you all for your due diligence. Page 10, uh, library materials, uh, let's see, overall uh, library materials, the, the, there's you know, discrepancies, not discrepancies, but variances throughout the each line item. But overall, that uh, total is right on budget as we're working the year. Operating expenses is well under budget, so very good on that regard. Uh, software licenses, what did I want to say about that? I don't know. Uh, so we haven't used a lot of our software licenses category. If you, if you, you notice, we had budgeted about 70000 and so far we've only uh, used 19000 But we do have uh, um, char charges that will occur uh, possibly by before the end of the year. Um, but things that we haven't uh, done, uh, uh, there were changes due to the Polaris and the Communico, and we postponed those expenditures. And we were uh, secured 19000 in savings, for some products that were purchased at the end of the previous fiscal year so that we didn't have to acknowledge it in this one. Um, we do have a, uh, an item coming up later in our meeting for $13,000 or so that we're going to discuss. That will be um, put to that category. Uh, what else? Per capita grant expenditures. If we do get the per capita grant, uh, we will be able to uh, uh, allocate a portion of that to some items this year. However, we're not certain of the conditions that might occur. So, you know, there's a possibility that things could apply or not apply. So that's yet to come. On the per capita grant? Uh, yes, correct. So um, what, we're, uh, what we're starting to see in, in the library community is that uh, libraries are starting to receive their checks. Uh, most of the libraries receiving their checks are, you know, the yeah. early part of the alphabet. Ah. You know, so uh, L and L, okay. and, you know, so uh, I don't, I, what is that number, 13 or 14, sure. showing it down the line. And um, uh, so we fully expect to get it. Uh, what we're also finding is that the terms aren't changing. Oh, well, that's good. Okay. Well, yes and no. That's bad. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, so um, we're in a position where we don't have the money. Uh, we, you know, we, we have articulated a plan for mm -hmm. it, uh, and we've been holding off on a lot of that. And what we should probably do in the last two and a half months of the year is to try to execute parts of that plan so that we can meet the terms and conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, you know, betting that the state's going to hold up. I mean, if sure. they've paid half the list, that's great. You know, that means that they're more likely to pay the other half of the list than if they haven't paid anybody at all. And if we don't use it, we lose it? That's correct. So I think we like lose it for a long time. Yeah. Oh. You know, okay. yeah. So in other words, you know, say use it, we have to use it by the end of our fiscal year. Yeah, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you know, um, you know, what we'll start to do is start to execute against the plan mm -hmm. and you know, make sure that, you know, we're not in jeopardy. The other bit of uh, information that uh, will come up during the uh, budget discussion, but it's perfectly appropriate here, is that we uh, got an award letter from the uh, state of Illinois for next year. And that amount is higher than the current year. So mm -hmm. next year it's 71,605 okay. compared to 47,004. I can't remember what the. Yeah, it's right around. You know, like 47,005 or, you know. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's a pretty significant increase. Yeah. Sure. And uh, we'll, we'll need the entire year on that to, you know, execute that plan, kind of betting on the come, you know, that sure. the states would all that. I, I feel like once they have an award letter, you know, they 
they'll do it eventually. Sure. Sure. Well, I assume it behooves them <laughs> to give it to us as late as possible, so yeah. we only have X amount of days to use yeah, it. Yeah, I think they're scraping the bottom of the yeah. The other thing that they did I thought was interesting is that at the same time we got the award letter, I got an email from the state uh, pointing me to this comptroller's office has put up a uh, website now where you can go in and look to s just double check to see have they sent it yet? Have they sent it? Have they sent it yet? So, and I also set up an email notification which I could do now with the comptroller's office has never had a website, so it's kind of great. So it's like, okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> okay. like refresh, refresh. So they at least know that they still owe us forty-four thousand dollars. So that's good. Hmm. All right, on uh, page eleven, uh, the general and the administration category. This is one running under budget by uh, thirty-two thousand dollars. It's just cool. It's great. Uh, the professional collections line item. Did want to point out that they have forty-four uh, or four thousand four hundred forty-five of it. Uh, is for the renewal of Gale uh, Analytics. So previously, uh, we charged that to materials, online databases, line item, but really it's for the benefit of our staff, and it's more um, appropriate to put it in this particular line item. It's, it, it, you know, Peter or Paul, it doesn't really matter which one goes in, but it, that's why that amount is, uh, is large. It's better recorded. Yeah, it's, it's a better spot for it. Uh, I got nothing, me personally, nothing else on that page. Page 12. <coughs> my page 12. Let's see, we've lost page 12. Yeah. Um, page 12. Uh, employee fringe benefits, uh, you know, similar to last year, uh, last month, or all the other months. We did have that one payment of $532,000 uh, for our fringe. Um, the deferred in, in the deferred compensation, we had budgeted five hundred thousand. If everybody remembers, you probably don't. But it, it, the actual amount that the IMRF calculated was five thirty-two, so that causes us to be running slightly over on that. Um, capital expenditures a little lower down. Uh, number of items have yet to be charged to that. Uh, the special reserve building under that category. The fire alarm that we're going to be talking about a little later. Uh, that's going to be charged to that line item, and we've got some signage contracts that are going to be charged to that. Uh, those monuments that we all had uh, agreed on. Uh, some of the other items that we had been talking about, such as the chiller and the caulking and painting, will more than likely happen in the next uh, fiscal year. So, not yet. Uh, audit, it did run uh, slightly higher than we had anticipated, so when we come to the budget, um, that will probably be increased to account for that, I assume. No. No. Okay, I assume not. Not at this point. Okay, well, we're uh, still investing. All right, okay. Um, page 13, uh, all the items are running under budget, uh, except for the workers' comp, as we talked about. Uh, a workers' comp, because it's, it's a one-time payment, not spread over 12 months. And our total expenditures are about 7% under budget which is great, you know, even though our, our revenues are slightly under as well. So uh, everything looks good that I can tell. All right, open for questions. Open for questions. Going once, going twice. You're talking uh, about the bank register. You can talk about those if you want. Yeah, just had a question on the description for the window out with like an E. Is that does it highlight you know, something? I'm sorry, where it says reading first page there. Employee, that's a common shorthand for employee as opposed to ER, which would be employer. Okay. So so anything with an E on it is employee, so reimbursement PLA is for like education. Just like an employee uh, reimbursement. Okay. Um, an employee uh, with the PLA and uh, paid out of his or her own pocket, and that's a bit of a reimbursement request. And so, the Niles Library pays for not only trustees but employees to do those things as well. So yes, they, correct. So they can they can bill back over a thousand dollars for for classes. It's well, a, it's a professional conference. Yeah. It's the it was four days. Um, 
and it's constant sessions and you do the library does pay for you know the budget in the yeah. professional I'm development gonna, line and just, then I'm just uh, asking you know is, is there some place where I can actually read you know because I, I care about that right now. I'm sure we talked about it before but is there a place where I can understand what's the typical you know expenditures for for uh, you know uh, on education and who gets to have it so do part-timers and full-timers does everybody get to have it that's employed well there is a there is a uh, professional travel policy and you should read through that um, it does spell out that uh, conferences are it's sort of it's a tiered thing it is uh, senior employees are considered first um, people that are presenting at a conference, like Susie presented at this last conference, yeah. so she was one that. And that would make know. sense. I'm just right. I'm just trying to understand. You know, right. it just looks like a lot of money. It, it, a PLA is a lot of money, yeah. and every year when we budget for you for it, I tell you this year it is going to be a bigger year because it's a PLA year, and that would be the point at which you could say, well, I feel like we should only send three people to PLA this year or something mm -hmm. like that. That is yeah. under board control to set that amount of money. I get to decide who gets to go you get to decide how much money you want to spend overall on it. Right. Most of the staff, though, don't get to go to these conferences. They go to smaller things around the area and webinars and things like that that are online. And then one last thing on it. Uh, you know, this is great information, but terribly, you know, it's a big report. Is there a way that I can get this report in an electronic format, such as Excel? I mean, PDF does nothing for me, so. No, we don't send the financial documents out in Excel. And is there is there a rule for that? The we it's bad practice to send official oh. documents of the library with numbers on it in a format that can be altered. So we only send them out in PDF. I did check with the village and they also follow that. Well, I understand that you are following it. The village is following it. Is there a rule that says that I can't have? I can if I FOIA it. Can I can I get it? You can't FOIA? get it in Excel. You can still Why? just get it in PDF because. I, I, is that a question you can ask the lawyer? Certainly. Yes, I can. It sounds like something on. maybe they'll be able to support you to say. Yeah, because I don't really mm -hmm. want to spend money on the lawyer to ask that for a PDF when we have all the information right here. All right, I'll ask outside the library then. I mean, the information is right here. I, uh, well, I what, what, you, you, you put it by the... check number. You put it by check number. Doesn't make it. Doesn't do me any good to see it by check number. It's an alphabetical order. Well, alphabetical or check number, you know, when it comes to reference, you know, I, I get people with EE, PLA at the beginning of the report, midway through the report, somewhere else. I, I don't know how you guys look at it and say, gee, we spent this much for employee reimbursement, and, you know, to say, oh, this is what we spent this year. You know, to where you, you, know, you can look at it and manipulate it. I'm well, sure that's, you're, that's what we look at the financial statements for, though. I understand you got your financial statements. All I all I did was ask a simple question: Could I get it in Excel format? And it looks like it's another no. So I'll ask outside the library, and I don't want to spend the library's money, so and that's fine. Now, I looked at the same information. I thought, wow, that's a lot of money. But I understand it, and I know that this is very typical. I, I, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, maybe it's just something that you will come yeah. home and you see how the money is spent. No, I, see, I, I worked in the business world, and, and they would cut back on the expenditures. Well, as so, so uh, well, just, you can yeah. decide. I mean, so, so let's decide. not attack Dennis now. Well, let's let's not attack all, all I want to point yeah, out is, can I, excuse me? All I want to point out is that when it comes to these expenditures, this is a budget question, so let's hold those questions off when we talk right, about budget. Well, yeah. So because sure. that's the sure, decision, sure, it sounds good. I, I like the idea. Right. Yeah, that makes and sense. And we can decide as a board do we want to spend it or not. That's what we're going to do. And just as a reminder, PLA is every two years, right? So it's every other year. So, okay, look, any other questions on the financial reports? Do we have a separate line item for snacks? And other fees for the program in the budget the report. Program line. So, so which page that you covered is is that covered in the um, programs? Programs. Well, it's uh, well, it's not separate. Uh, I'm sure programs is there, but you know, for food and, and uh, associated 
I, I don't believe it's. Uh, so that's why, you know, this is why I asked the question for the ability to, to sort things. It's because not everything is broken out in your report. So, you know, it's. it's uh, I have reasons for it, and. and uh, yeah. Well, again, let's talk about that. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. It's a good right. idea to talk yeah. about Because that's, you know, because that's only can change things. Sure. Well, yeah. and if I would yeah. suggest yeah. another possibility, it would be a request of Greg to give you a report sorted in the way that you want it sorted. I mean, it's that would not be a I, I just thought there was something that I could just take, you know, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't understand if you have a source, single source of, of truth, and I take a report and I manipulate it so I can understand data, I don't understand how that's going to impact the library, but I don't, you know, I, I, I'm new to a lot of things, so it's just, uh, we'll talk about it like, you know, there's, they suggested, and it's a bunch of time. I, I don't want another report, it's just more, more time to run things. Well, for example, on page 26, there is kid space snacks. For And did not waste staff time running out to the grocery store a bunch of times. So everybody that's going to need snacks for, say, like the movie program, the kids' movie program, they serve a little snack at that. And so that's when that would be ordered. So however that is accounted for in the programming and support juvenile youth services Correct. line item. So, Dennis, you're, you seem to be asking that you want that line item sub uh, No, I, like I said, I don't want to make the library do any more additional reporting than necessary. I, I was going to take that responsibility on for sure. and just, you know, I, I, I work in itself an awful lot and I find it very easy to, move, you know, move things around. So, uh, no, I, I'm not going to ask anybody to create another report or do additional changes on, on that part of it. Thanks. But thanks for short. Sure. Yeah. No all right. Uh, again, are we all okay? Carolyn, you okay? Good, thank you. Still with us? Good. All right. All right, so then I will entertain a motion to approve the payment of bills for operating expenses of $232,522.94, payroll expenses of $271,405.47, and special reserve expenses of $11,608.71 for a total monthly expense of $515,537.12. So motion. Second. Getty and Tim. Any discussion? Okay, Diane, please take a roll. Uh, Carolyn? No. Dennis? I'm going to abstain. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. Okay, next item on the agenda is the director report. Susan? Yes. Um, well, as I told you quickly by email yesterday, we uh, finished the migration process from one vendor to another. Huge thing. I just I can't even tell you how big that is because we have not we've had upgrades for many you know many times over the years, but we have not moved vendors for almost 20 years. So it was a pretty big deal to get the databases lined up properly. They're still tweaking some aspects of it, but it overall went incredibly smoothly. And I'm just right. really, really yeah, proud of the staff. Yeah, it does. Oh, I really like it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's absolutely yeah. really just couldn't be prouder of the staff. And uh, CCS also did a beautiful job executing all of their parts of it, too, which, you know, was wonderful. Um, I wanted to call your attention to the trustee calendar at the back of the director's report. Page. Thank you. Um, there is the diagnosis coming up. Um, and so if anybody wants to send that on behalf of the library, please let Diane know right away, because we need to sign that up right away. Sign up, Diane. Diane, you need to, please? Okay. Me too, Diane. Wonderful. Do you There's no order or anything going on for the library, is there? Oh, no, we are being awarded. Right. That's Thursday the 27th? I think it's a Friday. 
Yeah. Oh. Is it is it Friday or is it? It's Friday. It's Friday. Is it Friday? It's Friday. I don't know. Okay. All I know is it's a, it was a, an event I was supposed to do with school, and I don't have to do it, so I can do this. Oh, okay. great. Okay, I'll go to then. Wonderful. Nice. Yes. All right. Um, I also wanted to remind you that the deadline for filing your statement of economic interest is coming up. If you've had any trouble getting a hold of your link for that, please let me know and I'll try to see what I can do. Um, do you guys pick up the fee for the Night of the Roses? Yes. Well, it's out of the trustee line of the budget for your attendance. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's your chance to sort of network in the community. Um, the uh, also just wanted to highlight the fact that we this the I did poll you guys about what was a good date for the special board meeting to discuss the budget and that it did indeed end up being on May second. So those are some calendar notes. Um, what day of the week is that? May second? Is that a Wednesday? Yes. Okay. Good. Just verifying it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, I just wanted, did you have something, Carolyn? You know, can I, you know, I know I won't make the Night of the Roses, so can I just let Diane know now that I don't yes. have to remember I forgot yeah. to call? Yes. All right, thank you. thank you so much. Yeah. I won't be there either. Okay. Um, okay. At next month's meeting, I will be reviewing the next quarter of the strategic plan, so I just wanted to let you know in advance that I'll be doing that. I also will sometime in the next month be sending you all a memo on the last year of my work here at the library because it is coming up on my performance reviews at the May meeting. So uh, I will update you on how I did with my goals and, and send the goals that I I think I should be doing. Of course, you'll have the opportunity to set goals for me at that time. And that will be an executive session at the May meeting. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all I have for you. Um, I, I, unfortunately, I, I was out of town, so I couldn't make the session with the trustees mm -hmm. at the library. How, how did that go? Mean the budget? The, no, no, no. When no. We, we, no, the trustees can meet. We're like, yeah, because I didn't even know either. That was yeah. right. Uh, why don't you just speak? Go ahead. You, you're, you're well, right <laughs> Dennis and Diane and Karen Diamond all came and met with members of the the public, and they were kind of stationed down in the commons under the statue, and it was a very busy Sunday, so there was quite a bit of traffic and. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had an opportunity to. Kind of talk with some of the people and just kind of hear what they were doing, how why they were here, if they had particular authors they were following. And we could answer other questions. It was a it was a good time. Yeah, enjoyed. And the cupcakes yeah. attracted many. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they would. Yeah, it's attractive. So and it, it was so good. We it, 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 actually uh, Susan said that a couple of folks recommended to move it downstairs, so it'd be in more of a central environment and uh, you know right across from. Uh, the, the event that was going on right up, you know, by the stairs there, so. And I know that Carolyn was very disappointed that she wasn't able to come, and so yeah. I talked with her on the phone about that maybe we could set up another event like that, maybe in six months or something. Because, you know, you guys should yeah. have, you can have as many opportunities to meet sure. up with the public as you want. And that sounds good to me. Unfortunately, I had family commitments I couldn't get out of. Yeah, I'm on board with that. I thought that was great. Can I mention one thing about the May 2nd meeting? Um, I'm just asking, I know that I will not be here at 7 o'clock on time, but I was wondering if we ever change it to 7.30. I mean, it would be up to the trustees. Mm -hmm. We'll be there whenever you say to be there. So either I'll be late or be stirred. Now that meeting is where we meet with the residents to they come No, to the it's not the public just, hearing. This is the one for you guys to go yeah, through the, the budget and ask all of your questions. Yes. Okay, so <clears> the, <throat> the the public hearing is usually right before yes. the, the, the regular be meeting. Okay. I just wanted to verify yes, that. That's correct. Um, as far as I'm concerned, public I have public. no problem with sw switching it a half an hour if that makes it easier because then you're here for everything. And you, if you have questions, you'll know what's already transpired. But I don't know whatever. Do we have to? The only thing that I'm thinking is not everyone's here tonight. Is it just Karen? Just Karen. Just Karen. So, um, should we? Well, what it want to just take a poll and see what everyone says here, and then we can just. Do we need Dennis? to? Do we need to say you know like uh, 
first, second, all that kind of I, stuff to go to seven or just say yeah, we all agree. Yeah, I'm okay with seven thirty. Seven thirty, and Pia, you're okay with seven thirty. Yes. I'm okay with seven thirty. Yeah, I'm okay with. My only consideration is that it can be a very long meeting. Later. Yeah, yeah it can be a long meeting, but sure yeah. what the meeting is. Because well, it's we're going just going over lines. Yeah. You know, if there's anything yeah. that really. If there's a line that anyone wants to talk about, and we're not going to go over every line because okay. not every line is a concern. So um, then, maybe if there are concerns, like that, then it's not that critical. No, 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 no. I, I shouldn't have said that, but we'll do it at seven thirty. Yeah, the if we're half an hour later, so if you could be here for the whole thing, thing, it's more it's important. One day, I think. Well, it's I only one day. Seven thirty is great. Seven thirty is fine, and it might be better for. Karen too, especially yeah, for her coming from downtown. downtown. Uh, sure. Um, she might be. Yeah, you know, she, she might embrace she that. Might say thank you. Yeah. So okay, I think we can okay, thank switch you. that. And there have been budget meetings that were 15, 20 minutes and done. So I know. haven't seen one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is the public invited to the? The public yes. can, can always attend, but mm -hmm. this is not the public hearing. The public hearing is yeah, like right. is right before the regular meeting. Yeah. So it's under the it's under the rules of uh, the Open Meetings Act, mm -hmm. just like this meeting is. Mm -hmm. So we have to post it uh, well enough in advance, and mm -hmm. we have to mm -hmm. advertise it, and have an agenda, and all of all of the things that we do for you know for a board meeting, and. And of course, it'll be open to, to the public. And I, I would imagine we'll have. There is uh, enough time to consider changing it now because yeah. it's only. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, 48. We yeah. have to. 48 you know, hours. 48 is hours of advances. Okay. Pretty much. Uh, cool. Yeah. Yep. And how is it announced? Uh, well, it'll be on the website. Okay. Yeah, that's probably where we need to. And posted. And they'll be posted. Yeah, the best of you. Just like the regular board meeting. Yeah. 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 Same thing. On board book. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure Tom Rapp's going to write about it. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. you um. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but you know. In the journal. It, the Circulation is, 4000. In my opinion, that's a meeting where it's kind of important we're here for the whole meeting if we can be, so we know everything and if we have questions. So, yeah, if you can be here a half hour later, let's just meet a half hour later. Is there anything else in the director's report, Susan? Mm -hmm. For me, uh, I'm happy just to answer questions. I just wanted to point out on page 34, um, this uh, <coughs> photo here uh, looks like it's a very dangerous uh, activity, and I would like to discourage that staff from you know, possibly you know, severe injury or even death. So <laughs> yeah, I I I I you're telling librarians to call them. Yes. Yeah, I had seen that and was hoping that we could get something like that when we were talking about finding other places, you know. Yeah, that was like one of the things that I thought was we really... Still the uh, oh, yeah, it's is really it? Awesome. You're, you're actually sitting on the bike. It looks like the handlebars. Yeah, right? that book bike was But it really almost looks like you're on a book bucking bronc. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really <laughs> love it. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. 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 It's cute. Don't do that at home. Yeah. yeah, and you know, in, in all seriousness, page 36, it's great how you know much the staff helps patrons with uh, very you know, uh, mm -hmm. challenging questions mm -hmm. and issues. So, but, yeah, I, I like that they're collecting those because mm -hmm. everybody thinks, oh, you can just Google it. It's like some of these things are going to take a lot of sure. ferreting out and narrowing down and digging. So I appreciate having yeah. such skilled mm -hmm. staff. Very good. Thank you. I have a question on the staffing changes. Yes. So are these new staffing changes? Yeah. I mean, there are. Yes, are they new positions or? Yeah. Or, I thought we okay. talked about. Yeah. I thought we talked about trying to list out when, when there's change to staff. You know, that you were going to go ahead and say that you know, hey, there's a change to staff, and then list it out. And if there's this many people here, you know, maybe we should get an updated org chart. You know, with the way what we had before. And we had you know, listings of all the different people and under the headings, and maybe we could update that and, sure. and, and just put it out on the site. I mean, maybe it's there, and I don't know it, and that way I can look at it. You don't have to print anything out. I don't think it requires any any uh, uh, additional printing and paper stuff like that. 
Right. Like, I don't think most libraries put the staff org chart on by name of person. They, they, they do it by position. Well, maybe I'm asking but, you for wrong, but when Diane and I came on board, we were handed a right. sheet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, but I just wouldn't put that on the website, but I yeah. certainly, I was planning on redoing so, it yeah, for yeah. the budget yeah. meeting. Anyway, so do you want to so, cool. yeah. print it out? Sure. Well, my question was, how many of these are being uh, have been hired to replace mm -hmm. positions of people who All left? Because, because I remember last month there were people that had left. That's exactly right. They that just had so it's just a, 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 yeah. All that, of them are replaced. So you had two full time people leave. Yes, you remember they came. She came and got her a little. Yeah, I, I, I saw the one person. I didn't yeah. see the other full time yeah. person. Because I, you know, I thought Sasha was getting somebody, and maybe that's listed here. But no, he already did. That was the previous month. That was the previous yeah, month. Yeah, so. she's been here at least two months. Yeah. Think, so, yeah. So, was, so trying to understand moving, moving numbers would be nice. Over a hundred staff members, so it is hard to keep it constantly updated. Sure. Sure. It, it, and there's a lot of turnover in the patron services department. There are like 35 patrons and cert clerks, and it's kind of. Just a constant that was bombing Absolutely. Yeah, I just think it's, 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 you know, most people aren't going to try to dive in and understand that there's new people being rolled on and rolled off. So, uh, doesn't matter. So, you said that you'd be able to print something new out. Sure. I can, I can update it for the uh, next budget meeting. Yeah. Thank you. Certainly. Okay, are there any communications? Nope. Okay. Um, I'd like to just do a patron communication from Maine South and say thank you to Donna Black for coming. Oh, Because nice. she had actually done um, one of these for me. Yeah. 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 Oh, didn't get to send me a thank you, but here's my verbal thank you from Maine South. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Donna Black. She's always sending us information, always sending us everything about testing and but she's so on it, um, more so than any other library that feeds into Maine South. So I just want to give her a kudos. She's really on the ball. Um, um, we'll have a communication from Donna for next month, next month's report from Branch. Mm. Yeah, she's really she's really on it and does things that the kids really love. Um, so next item on the agenda is liaison report, Friends of Library. I have no idea. The meeting was canceled. Okay, the meeting is good. Thank you, Carolyn. Uh, legislative? I don't have anything. Nothing legislative, anything for rails. And nothing for rails. Okay, thank you. Um, then we move on to new business. Um, so the next thing I have on the agenda is do I hear a motion to approve the recommended expenditure of. I don't have the right thing here. This is page 44, right? Yeah. Um, for, to approve the payment to Visographic in the amount of $5,891.36 for the spring issue of Chapter 1. Motion. Second. Okay, so Patty and Tim. Any discussion? I don't understand what videographic is. Yes. Yeah. Could you just explain a little bit about it? That would be nice. It's the printer of the Chapter 1 newsletter. So it's quarterly, quarterly cost. They print it and they uh, get it ready for sending to the post office. So for, for one quarter, you're charged $58.91? Yes, that's a reduction from what it was a couple of years ago. Can you cut us a deal over there? In a the journal area? We have, we have actually talked with them about that. <laughs> it would be a different kind of format altogether, but we have discussed it with them. All right. Just a little fun there, that's all. Okay. All right, uh, Diane, please take a roll. I mean, they have a big circulation, so. <laughs> Carolyn? I, I have a question. Uh-huh. Regarding the mailings of this um, chapter one, how was it handled? I'm sorry? I couldn't quite have the first half. Yeah, I did have a paper that maybe the city just on the hearing. Um, the mailing for this um, chapter one, how is that handled? What's the process for the mailing of these to the um, residents? 
uh, how it gets mailed. I believe it is delivered by the printer to the Morton Grove post office and they disperse it to the other post offices. Well, yeah. How is the list? There, there isn't a list exactly. It's a um, carrier route. It, yeah, carrier route. So it's the cheapest form of postage. We have actually debated whether it would make more sense to uh, upgrade it a level to get it delivered more directly to particular houses because you know we want to make sure that if you go to all the trouble of making it, that it actually gets where it's supposed to go. But this is um, the least expensive mailing. So it's carrier route, probably in Miles and Main County, is it? Yes. Do they know which are Niles public library residents of Knox or Niles? I believe so. Yeah, I mean, all of Niles is. And then in Maine Township, I think, I don't know historically how far back it goes, but yeah, that's the idea, is that we've given them a list of our addresses, and that's where it goes. So you give them the specific addresses? It's, uh, it has been years and years since, I and I was never a part of it, so I can try to get more information about it for you. For next month, if that would be helpful. Sure, sure. I'm just concerned what maybe there is such thing as carrier route carrier distribution. I'm just wondering what it entails and what is the actual distribution route. Like? Well, I mean, I think the the mailing is going to be the same as it is now. Okay. Well, we, we actually have that as part of the strategic plan to look into that, and so we will continue well, to pursue that. Well, we will provide you with that when you ask them about the oh, process. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I will check further into that, Carolyn, or I'll have uh, Sasha look at more. Thank you. Sure. Okay, so Diane, please take a roll. Okay, Carolyn? Um, uh, no. Dennis? Uh, I'm going to abstain. I, 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 I like what Sasha and the, the crew is doing. I just think it's too expensive to push out and print it for them. <clears throat> Uh, Diane? Oh, uh, yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Tim? Yes. Okay, next on new business is to approve the expenditure, expenditure not to exceed $13,500 for the renewal of 15 Adobe Creative Cloud Desktop Apps, one-year subscription licenses from CDWG. Do I hear uh, a motion? Yeah, motion. <laughs> Patty? Yes. Second. And Diane. Any discussion? So, uh, Greg, um, that's a shame. You know, software, you know, it used to be you used to buy it, right? Now you yeah. got to license it. Really, is, is it no longer an option to buy this software? It's only, right. so yeah. They really get you now. Yeah. Um, that's like a cloud. Yeah. Cloud subscription or something yeah. like that, which yeah. is. Which is uh, basically where everybody is going. With yeah, their, I know. Uh, yeah. The model has changed. So um, these, uh, what what staff, uh, not staff, what patron PCs are these? On? What patron um, are they? Are they down in the, the PC lab or are they? Yeah, they're uh, they're in Susie's area. Uh, oh, okay. You know the uh, uh, was it the MacBooks. And the circulating MacBooks, the Studio A. Oh, okay. And then it's on both of the um, tech desk computers down there because we do poster printing. Ah. We do some development. But I would say you know, Studio A is just booked constantly with people using that place because it is an expensive software. Right. And they're coming here to kind of utilize that. And then four of them are in the science yeah. department for marketing purposes. So, so how many are actually for library employees, and how many are for patrons? Well, uh, you got the uh, you got the Ford marketing. Yeah, um, and then you put the product out. You have one in IT. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, uh, two at the desk. Uh, so what's that? Six. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, the remaining nine are, or seven maybe. Yeah, and the seven. remaining eight are uh, uh, deployed for uh, patrons. Other than the studio, do people uh, reserve those use of that, or is it like the MacBooks or the 
Yeah, the software. Yeah, yeah you know, we're not really questioning we do have other software on there, so we're not, you know, eventually I'd like to survey and say, what are you doing? It's uh, hard to tell what people uh, okay. are doing on there. Um, I do kind of anecdotally talk to people, uh -huh. and just general troubleshooting, you can tell what, um, you know, I know there was a woman who used it with her husband and uh, was able to get a job, you know, was able to kind of sure. teach herself how to do some design work in them. Um, so, you know, it's definitely... I think the people who are coming down every day to use it, they're yeah. not just yeah. playing video games in there. But, um, yeah, and then we have it in the open labs for people to kind of design more complex vector files to cut from a laser cutter. Oh, so there are some in the open lab? Yeah, in, oh, the, um, in Studio B as well when we have the open labs. Right. Okay, thank you. So, the Adobe Creative Cloud, is, is that... It's, I'm, I'm trying to better understand what it is. So it's just like, you know, so it's not like Adobe Writer or something like I might have at home on my PC where I just have Adobe and I get a PDF and I display it. So this is something that allows you to do much, much more. Right? Yeah, it allows you to manipulate it at, at the lowest levels. Okay. Well, is this a, a Photoshop? Is a Photoshop part mm -hmm. of that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's their entire suite, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is InDesign part of this? Mm -hmm. No. I mean, yeah. I think it's 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 great that we provide it, but I mean, it's you're taking tax dollars again. I I'm I'm all about the discussion. I know it's a budget discussion. I, all right, I'll leave it for budget. It's yeah, just, well, it is. That's a good right. idea. I like right. your idea. Right. It's, I mean, it's a budget discussion. Right. But in terms of this particular item, mm -hmm. I would say that you know, for eight hundred ninety dollars for a year. We have a computer with the entire Creative Cloud suite on it that can be used by anybody, you know, multiple people, many people, rather than each person in Niles needing their own copy of it. We, they come here and they share the one copy, and yeah. that's how is that, is it Does it go across Mac as well as the other PCs? It's on Mac and PC. Mac and PC? Yeah. And it's nothing, none of these computers are checked out, are they? No. No. No, it's all being used here and shared. So, mm -hmm. it's, you know, that's the whole essence of a public library is buying things together and sharing them. Well, it's a debatable definition, but uh, yeah. we'll save it for we'll save it for the budget. I'm happy with it. Okay, so then am I correct in understanding we're tabling this item for the budget? No, no, no. 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 We were we were tabling the discussion of whether or not we should budget for it until we get to the budget, but we budgeted for it last year, and this is in our current budget, so it now the discussion is whether or not to pay for this item. Yeah, we've got to pay for it. We asked for it. Can I yeah. just ask which um, line item this comes out of? Software. The software, okay. Um, can you ask a question? I just asked which line item it came out of. Oh, okay. Um, so this isn't part of the regular technology budget, where we have X number of dollars for all technology purchases. This is out of the software. 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 Which makes sense. Mm-hmm. So it's basically that's what it is. How much do you so need software so for the year anyway? What, Carolyn? How much is the software um, budget for the year anyway? I don't... I'm not familiar with where it is. Uh, in the current budget year, it's uh, approximately $71,000, I believe. Okay. So, are we saying that we specifically elect um, 15 um, upgrades for this? Is that what we're saying, or is it just part of the $71,000? Um, just part of the $71,000. <clears throat> it's part of it, Carolyn. That's on page 10 of our uh, income statement, and currently, okay. we're really kind of low on that. We've only spent 28% uh, of our budget for the year. Okay, and, 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 and that's well and good, but I, I have to say, I don't know, I think it's um, definitely something we need, I don't know if the quantity is justified. I mean, 15 computers, and it's not used that often, I, I think maybe we could. It's used all the time. We consider the quantity. Yeah, yeah. Carolyn, let's, uh, you know, just my suggestion, but I think that's a budget. Discussion. So maybe when we get to our budget, we can we can discuss that. Um, well, we can't approve this if we want to discuss. We, we never said last year that we approved thirteen thousand five hundred dollars 
for the specific purchase of 15 Adobe Creative um, apps. So that's my question about our budget process. So this money may have been set aside, but I never knew what the purpose was. So now I'm saying we should rethink the quantity. So it's kind of where I'm at with it. My question is, is this something we have to do every year? Yes. It's so therefore, yes. we can discuss it for next year, whether we want to keep it the same or change it right. at the budget. Right. right. But, but we have to pay for what we already have. Exactly. I would assume so, I'm sure. All right. So, um, Diana, did you go on? Hey, Carolyn. Um, well. Dennis. I, I'm okay. I mean, we got to pay for it. We, we, we got it. We got to pay for it. But, you know, let's discuss it. Budget. So it's yes. Yeah. Uh, Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, next on the agenda, C, is to um, hear a motion to approve the recommend expenditure of $11,775 from the Special Reserve Fund for the installation of a new hybrid fire alarm control panel and remote enunciator. Motion? Anyone? Ready? Ready. Ready. And Ready. Diane? And Diane. Okay. The memo for this item begins on page 47. So any discussion? This is something we need for safety and probably legally anyway, so is there really a discussion on this, in my opinion? I mean, I don't know, that's your opinion. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe you want to know more about it. Um, that, that's about it. Yes, I, yeah, I would like to know more, but someone could explain well, what uh, said really what we're doing. That's nice. So, yes. um, it's, uh, this is a, we've gone through a number of uh, upgrades of the, uh, uh, fire system uh, over the last uh, couple of years or so, and that resulted in uh, putting all new um, alarms and strobes in every room, making sure that they sync, you know, so that you know if they're asynchronous, then you have a chance of causing a seizure on somebody. So we make sure that they're all everything within sight of you know one person on the floor is within the synchronized appropriately um, and uh, uh, we completed that we got the fire department to sign off and they came you know they came back as they normally do on a periodic basis and they were poking around and they looked at they looked at our we'll call it the panel mm -hmm. okay where all of these wires feed into mm -hmm. okay and uh, it was their recognition as well as ours you know that our panel was 20 years old. It's as old as the latest edition, and um, uh, they're you know and is is well beyond its uh, serviceable life. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, they highly recommended that we replace it. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, the hybrid part is that it's connected to a panel in the front of the building, where should there be a fire or something like that, the firemen come into the front of the building. And they could look at it, and they say, "Ah, it's the second floor, uh, you know, uh, this particular part of, you mm -hmm. know." And then they could mm -hmm. attack, you know, uh, attack the issue. So uh, much more sophisticated than what we have now. Um, uh, normally, for something this size, anything over five thousand dollars, we go out and get multiple bids. Um, the unique situation here is that Simplex Grinnell, which is all the equipment that we have for the, you know, for the fire alarm system is a proprietary platform. And what that means is you can't take this and, and plug it, it into, you know, something else, yeah. uh, in, you know, independently. You, you know, it's, uh, you have to be all simplex you know, mm -hmm. to get any warranties or guarantees or, mm -hmm. or uh, assurances. Um, so, um, we got a price from them. You, you have the, you know, you have the entire package behind this memorandum, and the uh, total amount is eleven thousand seven seventy-five. Do we get an answer? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get 
Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think we get a, a, yeah, we'll get a, a coupon to pay just as much if we ever need another one. Yeah. Get a boy from the firm. <laughs> so, you know, um, you know, so this is, you know, this has come up very recently. Um, we felt it was, since it was fire safety, that it was important to, uh -huh. yeah. you know, make sure that it got in front of the board immediately. Uh -huh. um, and uh, as such, we would, you know, since it's part of, you know, the building, an important part of the building, we would uh, take it from the uh, special reserve. Totally agree. Thank you for the explanation. Okay. All right, uh, Diane, could you please take a roll? Uh, Carolyn? Yes. Uh, Dennis? Yep. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Chen? Yes. Okay, uh, the next item on the agenda is the distribution of a draft of the 2018-19 budget. And I would just like to remind everyone that this is just that. It's just the distribution. It's not a discussion. Um, that's what we're here just to uh, give it out, look at it, lean it, digest it for the next month. Um, also, what I would suggest is if you have any questions before our May 2nd review that we give any questions or concerns about any specific line item amount. Um, instead of all of us sending our information to Susan and Greg, send the information to Karen. She can group them and give them to Greg and Susan responsibly. Um, and I'll talk to Karen about that also. But, of course, not the day before May 1st either. You know, uh, let's look at it and be kind yeah, and thoughtful. Days, I'm, just, I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to be proactive rather than reactive. You know, just seriously, you know, this is our responsibility. This is one of our biggest responsibilities. Um, and let's really take this serious. Let's look through and try to ask those big questions prior um, to the date. And of course, you know, you can bring your questions to the, I mean, that's why we're having our May 2nd meeting. But if you really have something that's really pressing or pertinent, um, that you feel that, you know, maybe you'd want to get those answers prior or make sure that they're brought to the meeting respectively, then, you know, just definitely give them to Karen. That way, again, she can group them and send them off rather than us asking all the same questions at the same time. Does that sound okay to everyone? Okay. Thank you so get, much. And if we get up early enough, we can put materials together and distribute them prior to the uh, prior to the meeting, instead of you know having a, a first look at answers yeah. to whatever questions yeah. are, are out there right. at that at that meeting. Which makes a lot of sense. So thank you for that. Appreciate that. Um, so everyone have their explanation and their budget. Okay. Thank you. So that's our Bible for May 2nd. Um, so Carolyn got it. Yeah, we had it delivered to Carolyn before the Yes, my first for the Okay, perfect. So is there any other other? Okay, so I will now entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. Oh, can I ask a question? Oh, yes. I think there was some problem you stated about the recording devices. Have we looked into Oh, she got oh, a new one. one. You got a new one. Well, you, she announced it before you came. Oh, okay. yeah. got <laughs> Thank okay. you for addressing that. How old was the uh, other one by then? Uh, I'm going to say Alexander 12, 13 years. Ah, yeah, pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> 12, 13 years. Yes, that was addressed before you came. <coughs> the video was just a, just a glitch or something. Okay. Yeah, I think so. All right. All right, well, thank you. Um, so I will now shift motion to adjourn the meeting. Patty? Any second? Diane. Diane? Okay, Diane, please take a roll. Okay, Carolyn? Dennis? Yes. Diane? Yes. Patty? Yes. Linda? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you, everyone, for such a